Gotta say, I'm appreciating Brute Queen's attitude here. I'm trying to hoard channel points so that I may one day dump a stupid amount of them on a long play that no one will enjoy. The, uh, for lack of a better word, the demographics of channel points are shifting quite rapidly because of the ability to gamble them now. Now people that have lots of them can lose or gain far many more of them. And the main usage of them, for now, is dictating the long plays. I don't have a problem with that. But they can now be used, I'm told, in um, crowd control. And we're going to experiment with that this week. But that's for later. For now, what we have is our second Patreon game for today. This is Aurora Dusk Steam Age. I've never played this before, except for about five minutes to suss out the controls and such, which I've already managed to forget, because that was yesterday. Um, offers three game modes. I think we'll just be doing adventure mode for now, although if there's still time, we wouldn't mind ch uh, checking out this custom survival game. At a glance, it looks to be a city-building tower defense game made entirely by the sweat of the brow of deviant art users. Let's go, let's start our adventure. We start out by creating ourselves a hero, and there are many, many choices. And since I don't have any basis to make any of these choices, we're just going to go with a lassie whose name is Rita. Looks good to me. What about options here? Man, this game feels like it's in early access with the UI, but maybe the gameplay is particularly good. What do we know? Not a lot right now. Let's get going. And it takes me straight back to the title screen. Okay. Okay, so they, uh, it was in early access. Okay, but now it's enjoying its full release. Adventure. The Adventure have 16 missions and is a tutorial to the game. Well, I will need to learn how to play it, so let's go. The story begins in the city of Dongard. It is a fortified city, has been protecting the western border against external invasion for years. On this very day, villagers are preparing to welcome a protector of Aurora. Elite knight sent from the capital. He and the guards follow him. Blah, da, 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 da. Okay. So we're in a fantasy realm. I see. We're in a fantasy realm running at about 12 frames per uh, second here as well. So if it looks a bit stuttery, don't worry, it looks incredibly stuttery for me as well. So here's Deviant Art Village. Welcome to you, we're honoured to welcome prestigious protector. I'm the governor of this fortified city. The walls are thick, defences are impregnable. Took all necessary measures to ensure that the construction was completed on time. Didn't come here to exchange courtesies. Our scouts have reported a abnormal gathering of monsters. A huge army is coming here. Your city will soon be ravaged by dusk hordes. They will never cross our walls. They're coming. They're different. They're organized and led by a higher power. Lead the villagers east. If the walls are strong, you'll have a chance to escape. And Okay, we're already thrown into it. So what's we Rita to do? I don't know. Rita's probably going to go and check out what's going on there. Uh, okay, WASD does not move us. WASD brings up build workshops, it seems. I should not go that way. It is too dangerous. Well, I want to see what's going on. Got a high above view like that. Can I arrow key? No, I can't. How do I move? Okay, I can middle mouse click and uh, drag to pan. So I'm not too sure if our friend here is going to... Uh... Yeah, the, there look to be a lot of them. How about we skedaddle? Where did we go? Where are we? I've managed to lose our character, but oh well. It says here, flee to the east, so let us flee whilst we watch this go on. They do look mean, my lord. I should really get around to playing Stronghold 2, so people can finally see the moment where uh, they do say, There are a lot of them, sire, and they look mean, my lord. Which I quote all the time. Iron Giant here is the creator of life and nothingness. The world is his. He'll shape it to his likeness. You'll all bow and submit to his boundless... Okay! Shh. 
sure. Well, there go the walls. So, victory. We managed to flee whilst our city was leveled. Sob, our city has been annihilated. Where did this gigantic monster come from? Alright, so we're stopping here. Yeah. Ugh. Oh my god, what the hell is that? What are you doing in this forest? I am marshwalled. My city is destroyed. We're going to the city of Aurora. Hmm, not too far from Banner Saga. We're exhausted and hungry. Give us stuff. Cut off wood, make weapons and tools. Walk to a tree, I will show you how it works. Gather wood by punching trees. Where have I heard of this? Oh, hey, big map. Ooh. The, the zooming in and out feels excessively awkward. Okay, this is us, right? We're, we're Rita the human. So let's go and punch a tree. Jake, please enlarge chat to cover up the deviant art monstrosity. I think not. Build a workshop, click on Anvil, select workshop, it will be automatically installed in a free spot. Yes, so build workshop. Oh, we'll just build it in the middle of all the trees then. Alright. Yeah, you know what, you make an excellent point. How about we just make sure that we can see the Deviant Art tier uh, artwork a bit better. Goodbye old chat, hello considerably uh, considerably more see-through chat. There you go, that's what the people were really asking for. Alright, with this workshop you can manufacture a blowgun and darts. Check you have enough wood. Manufacture an item by... What's going on back there? Select the workshop, choose the object you want to make. When it's crafted, the object will be added to your inventory. Alright, I guess I want uh, a blowgun and some darts. I have too many darts. Okay, well, we all have problems. And Zisu. With this weapon, you can hunt an animal, find an animal in the forest, shoot it with your blowgun. Ah, uh, okay. Are you an animal that I can shoot? Probably not. Hey, there's a there's a boar. Kill it dead. Oh man, this zooming and panning is awkward. I gotta pull it so much just to move around. Why are you like this, says Young. You know, a lot of us have been wondering why people are like how they are. You have gained one level in shooting weapons. Your level is now 101. Okay. Flash may have died, but all these flashlight games are still here. Cook the, uh, to eat this meat, you have to cook it in a hunting camp. You need wood to start a fire. Alright, sure. Well, let's go and get some wood. Chunk, 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 chunk. Get plenty of wood, and let's cook it up. What about all these useless people? When are they going to help me do anything? Smell? I found our fugitives. Come on, cups. Let's show them who really dominates the food chain. Beastmen are tracking you. We're in danger. Ask for help of the owl spirit of the forest. Make a totem. If someone dies, his soul can make prayers near the totem. After a while, the owl god will bring him back to life. What the hell is all this? Well, sounds like I need wood. Are they on their way? I don't see them on the map. Alright. Totem. 
Uh, go there, I guess. Are they, are they really attacking us? I see nothing of the sort. Whoever put this forward must have thought that they were submitting a punishment game, says John. Well, uh, I mean, graphically and writing-wise, it does look like a punishing game. However, I've been on the hunt for a decent um, tower defense game for some time. And it could be that beneath the god-awful visuals of this game, there's actually something really good. I mean, anything's possible, right? I wonder if my people are actually working, or are they just wandering about? I feel like I have to do everything. Oh, hey, there we go! Please help! <laughs> well, maybe if you actually fought together, strategically... Oh, hey, somebody else built a totem pole and a hunting camp. So maybe the people are uh, doing stuff. Where am I? Lost, lost sight of me. Oh, there I am. Fight off the wolves. Well, I, I guess I could help. Am I going to use my blow dart? Yeah, I am going to use my blow darts. Are we going to die? They do a fair amount of damage to us. But thankfully I have my feline friend here. I have run out of darts. Please help. Well, I appreciate the tactics that we're using here to bring them down. Which is just human wave or demi-human wave. Your people are dying in droves, Jake. That's all right. Oh wait, I don't think any of us have died, right? We were we were at 25 allies alive before, and we're still at 25 allies alive. There we go. Why do beastmen usually attack you? They only use their fangs when it's necessary. I'm not a wild beast woman. I have always lived amongst humans. Your gastronomy is the best in the world. Uh huh. Bit too much species mixing here, but uh, whatever. We get our victory. Who is this? It just says elf. Well, maybe it's clicking. Maybe it's looking below her. Yeah, I think it was. Okay, sure. I mean, it's no stronghold, but we are building and fighting. Character movement is so bad, says Brute Queen. Well, you know, would you rather have it look like this, or would you rather have it look like Candice de Bebe? I will not be able to cross this desert in one go. We should take advantage of the oasis. He's always just calling for us to stop and rest. Such an incapable man. Lost his city as well. Right, there are not many plants in the desert. If needed, you can use mana to generate sprouts. Mana is a magical energy present in every form of life. Refills over time. You can also eat mushrooms. Create resources. Oh, you know, there might be a really good game under all this. Not that I'm feeling it being really good, but it's showing all the signs. Alright, mana cost, blue stars, so we can plant resources. Plant some mushrooms. With training, your plants will provide more resources. Okay. The winds are strong, we need to protect ourselves. Build stone walls and a town center. Organize. Build more buildings. Okay. I somehow have all this wood. Alright. Well, I guess the town center can go right in the center of all the greenery. Fine by me. Get to work. Mush, my people. I wonder if I can go and scavenge in these bushes. Ah. Good. I like that the people are actually getting to work. I was worried that I actually don't uh, don't have them do anything. Although they are building stuff of their own accord, which can be good and bad. 
Sometimes I like to have more control over my people than this. Reach the Stone Age. Oh, none of that seems to help. Workshops. Warehouses. What's going to help me reach the Stone Age? Progre I guess progression just goes by as my people do things. There we go. The houses give you significant bonus and increase your stamina regeneration. The bonuses are always effective whether you're inside your house or not. Ooh, I like that. I want my own house. And grab this wood then. Build a house, a hut, a skin teepee. No, I want a proper wooden shack for myself. And I'm gonna put it right next to the town center to show that I'm that important. Yo, now I can have a nice nap. I need 16 hours of sleep per day. We can't rest now. Marshwold, you were the one that said we should stop for a rest. Make sure that there's no danger in the region. So we have to fight off the mont. Do I not have any defensive structures for that? So if I go home, do I get my stamina back? Yeah, it looks like it's going up 10 per click. It seems very hands-off. It kind of feels like if I did nothing, my town would still uh, grow and prosper. Attack the nearest enemy, inventory, resources. Yeah, I still got that raw meat that I plucked off of somebody. Ooh, a piggy! Kill the piggy. Am I attacking it from my home? Jengs. Come on, rip Hamlet to pieces. I did try Rise to Ruins, but I couldn't stand the art style. Even this looks more pleasant to observe, says Brute Queen. I only played six minutes of that game, and it was uh, not enough to entice me to play more. Although I likely will get around to it. I just... I have a lot of games that I can play, and if a game doesn't immediately grab me, then... It's going to be uh, thrown quite far down the priority list. So if I'm meant to fight off monsters, the question is, where are the monsters? A lot of mushrooms kicking about. You know what, why don't we go over and uh, rip apart these trees. We have totem poles, so if our people die, they can be resurrected by the Owl God. How many cat girls are in this settlement? How far in can we zoom? This is about as far, as in, far in as we can go. Can I pause? P isn't pause, space isn't pause, escape is this, I guess. I can still pan around. I've got a lot of dwarves and a colossus, a half-elf, loads of dwarves here. Another half-elf, human, dwarf, half-elf, frightening stuff. This dwarf's busy punching the water. But us, we're off to punch some wood. Oh no! Dusk hordes are approaching from the east. Well, I'm quite certain my people can take care of that. Oh! Oh my goodness, the panning and the zooming is horrible! Right, mushroom guy, zombie, evil tree, rat. I'm quite confident our people can take care of this, so I'm just gonna sit back and chop some wood. Oh my god, there's got to be a better con control for this. There is not. Okay. Wait, no. These are tabs. Interface. Mm. Left and right to scroll. Really? Didn't feel like that. It, it doesn't. What are you talking about? Oh well. 
I have too much wood. That's a problem we have. Well, let's get back. I wonder if I dump my wood in the warehouse or something to that effect. Well, the rats are coming in first, but uh, looks like the feline is trying to hack fur balls at it. Oh, are they trying to attack our structures? Well, the enemy is not doing a very good coordinated attack. Seems that the skellies and the fun guy are coming in considerably faster than the zombies in the tree. Well, let's have at. Are you supposed to be a single entity or the whole mishmash of furries? I think we're just one character here. One character with our own bestiary. Customize your artificial intelligence. I guess we can look at that when we're not currently under attack. There we go, now we've killed a skelly and four wolves. Now attack from here. Two whole skellies to our name. Can we kill a fun guy too? I guess if you throw enough sticks and stones at somebody, you'll deal some da- Ooh! We can eat the remains of the fun guy! Nice. By the way, can I plant more resources with this huge amounts of mana that I have? Oh, I can plant pigs! Yes! We shall have pigs. Wait, it's an animal cage? Sure. I worry a bit about my people neglecting the defensive benefits of this lake here. I also wonder to what effect blowing wooden darts at a tree monster will have. Whoever's throwing the boomerang, though, they're doing quite well. Gained a level in a dress? What? Tree monster dropping wood, that's kind of funny. Oh, they've ran out of boomerang. All hope is lost. Hey, there we go, the pig did pop out. Adding to our bestiary here. Come on, haven't killed a single uh, zombie yet. Somebody's kill stealing, clearly. There we go. threatening zombie attack coming in, but it's quite good to see my people actually uh, fighting and then going to get more resources with which to fight. Okay, seems like there are a lot of different options for how I, uh, how I sort my AI. That's cool and all, but I'd like to have a bit more agency in just setting up my village and defenses and such. Perhaps that's how the game will unfold for us. The town centre is arguably a tower. I don't know what this lassie is doing. She keeps popping up in the game. We're approaching a military camp, but we should not stop here. So for once, Marshwold is against having a rest. We will be safe only in Aurora. Hey. Uh huh. You're in the military camp, named the Hawk's Nest. My name is Keringer. I'm the captain. Our walls fell, your fortification's in danger, curses, our defenses are not ready, we might lose this strategic camp. No, Beast Woman, we must not stop. 
I'll not waste my time helping these people. I already have enough responsibility with the Dawn Guard refugees. Stay and die if that's what you want. Me and all those will go to Arborang. Cowardice. Oh, right, I, I thought maybe I'd get a choice between who to follow, but no, we're going to help with a palisade. Maybe the lack of agency is a tour. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense, right? I'm sure there's more to this game that we need to pick up. Oh, nice. Actual defensive towers. Jing's a whole lot better than what we just made. And a lot more structured. I wonder how I can tell my people to make a uh, place of this kind of structure. We need money! Oh no, it's, it's a scheme. He's just brought us in to extort our money. You can sell resources to get silver coins once you have enough money. We can go to the barracks. Okay. In the market you buy and sell resources. The market. I guess this is the market. I should have a lot of crap from the previous missions unless it's uh, all gone away. Nope, I've got it. Look at all these fruits. Surely they want my fruits. I want to sell, but what do I want to sell? Well, I have meat. Take my meat. Oh, jings, they take it all? Well, I'll have some berries instead. Excellent, you have enough money to hire mercs in one of the barracks. No, to stop selling. Stop selling those berries. I might need them someday. What are we going to hire? A militiaman or an archer? I like the sound of these archers, so sell more of our berries. Mm, I guess that'll do. Wait, the, the cost has gone up. How can this be? Good. Keep up this way, we'll soon have enough soldiers. Do not hesitate to give them orders to organize the defenses. By clicking and holding the shin, you can draw rectangles, select soldiers, all the soldiers will obey your orders to attack and move. Nice, now we have some agency. All right, Archer, go into the wooden tower to defend. Hmm. Maybe that's not working the way I thought it would. Select the Archer. Archer, go to tower. No, he seems more keen on following me. Archer. Stay in defense, aggressive, patrol, don't move, follow you. Alright, well, you know what, just stay in defense. As long as he's not following me. Uh, I wonder what part of stay in defense has told him to go out like that. You're an art. Oh my god. Okay, maybe you should follow me then. Alright, maybe I can just tell him to stay there. Guess I'll hack these things to, uh, to death instead. Yeah, I don't know what's up with my refugees building all this crap in this otherwise fairly functional... What are you doing? Okay, well I have too much wood. Let's go and sell it off then. How do I sell my wood? There we go. Having too much wood was a problem we had before. Well, at least these archer towers are actually doing what it says in the tin. Auto cannon's quite nice. There we go. I obviously want more units.
I tell you, the fundamentals here look great, but this game is real rough to control. Gained a level in conscription. Oh, isn't that cool? Right, so that means I now have all these people that will uh, come with me. But I doubt they'll work with me. I doubt they're going to help me, say, cut down this tree. So perhaps I should tell them to go over here. And uh, stay and defend. They're just doing the wee sh uh, South Park shuffle as they come along. I makes it. No, 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 don't. Don't select them to do anything. Did I lose one of my guys? I think I did. I think one of them just ran out and got themselves killed. Now let's go back to market and sell off this wood. Whoa! There's a considerable number of them. It's all right, the refugees will fight and die for us. I'm exhausted, what, from selling all this wood? Oh, Ching, she really is. Maybe I should have built a home for myself. Let's have myself a crappy little hut. Too exhausted to build it. Well, I'm glad my archers are there helping out. My god, this panning is so bad. Well, the walls seem to be holding remarkably well. Hey, there we go. We got our hut. Maybe I should go home. Help us rest up, rest our weary bones, although it said it helped whether or not we were in our home. Having fun, J I don't know, Rusty, I just don't know. Fundamentally, this looks great, right? Lots of enemies to fight against, city building, decent uh, tower defensing, but this controls like ass and it looks like... Maybe calling it Deviant Art Tealer is underselling it. There were a lot of great things on Deviant Art. I wonder if the evil tree has conflicting feelings about tearing down these wooden palisades. Is that a centaur? Or just a horse? Still, the archers are doing a great job. The non archers, it has to be said, are not. I don't have any milk. That's a problem, isn't it? I want more archers. Maybe I can go and mine that stone for stuff then. Mm, they just keep coming, don't they? Right, I need a lot more archers then. They seem to know what they're doing at least. Or at the very least, order my uh, refugees to go and fight and die. Getting two stones per clobber here. What if I operated the loom? I need fabric. It looks like someone tried to remake that pitch mission in Stronghold RPG Maker. Know exactly what you mean, but I don't think this is pitch. This is either a forest or some kind of extremely low resolution. What is with this panning, right? I click here, I pan over, and that's as far as I can go. And this is me zooming out. Oh, God. This is madness. Well, my two archers are still alive, I just don't know where they are. Oh, there they are. 
doing God's work then. Just stand there. Good thing we have the owl statue. Alright, sell your sell your stones as well. Oh, that's a one-to-one -one trade. That's pretty good. I'm going to get a lot of archers out of this. Provided I don't get completely tuckered out by the act of selling stones. Alright, there we go. Buy up the archers now. I'm too exhausted to buy some archers. Alright, go home then. Demolish your home. There we go. Now maybe you're less exhausted and can buy some archers. Not only did it cost me 16 silver, it cost me 16 stamina to recruit that archer. I think this game has shown you all it has got and now overstays its welcome, says Zanzibar. I'm unconvinced. I think I'm seeing more to this game than you are. Although, if my character could stop getting so exhausted by doing almost nothing, that would be nice. I'm gonna rest in my hut for a bit, get back a lot of stamina, start selling off, uh... Well, exchanging my gold for archers. But go there and stay to defend. idea of staying and defending is a little different from mine. Okay, well there is a don't move command, so if I tell them to go there and then don't move, will they stay there and not move? Yeah, the game seems really gung-ho on me destroying my own home, but no, also those trees just pop out of nowhere. Pretty banging tunes, though. I hope I get to keep these um, these guys that I have recruited and chop down more stones since these things seem to carry over. And you there, go and join your brethren on the front line. I love the hilariously unfitting yet catchy music. Yeah, me as well. This is a game of a bygone era. Alright, the Colossus is staying to fight, and they're fighting really rather well. Ripping that evil tree branch from branch. Oh, no, 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 they're running with their tail between their legs. Oh, gaining stamina, gaining strength by ripping rocks to shreds. I know it's tiring work, but you gotta get done. I think stones have better return than the wood when I sell them. It's a shame that selling is such an exhausting action. Alright, archers, move in for the kill. Why are there four of you? Where's the fifth? Don't tell me he's over here. He is over here. I thought I told you to go and join your friends. Maybe I didn't deselect him proper. Thank you, our camp is safe now. Yeah, I'm sure my four archers helped out there. Scouts have alerted me about the presence of a large army in the south. It seems that it is heading towards the center of the kingdom. The real danger is more serious than what we have faced here. We will continue our journey. Prepare for a battle that will certainly take place in Aurora. I cannot stay here and leave the kingdom of the Virgin. Okay. Sure. Well, we won. Still bamboozled at who this is. Jake, maybe selling is an emotionally exhausting action because your character is a hoarder and hates parting with anything. That seems a little contrived. Hmm. 
Look at where you put your feet. You'll damage my precious friends. It's okay, my children. I'm here to prevent them hurting you. Uh-huh. The Golemologist. Remnants, carcasses of golems. Our ancestors gave life. They're protectors. Only courage and bravery can protect our cities. These stones without a soul are a waste of time. So am I going to start having golems to help me out? Golems are built like buildings. Slow, tough, control them like soldiers. Mm. Fascinating. I feel like I have to rebuild my uh, city every time, but maybe I don't need to build cities here. Maybe I just need to build golem out of all these stones that... Uh... Oh no. This will wear me out. I need people to help. Yes, they just build other things <laughs> all over their, uh, their golem site. Here's another bleeding owl statue. Well, I'm out of stone. Oh no, I bet somebody else ran out of stone. Well, I'll take the opportunity to pilfer some stones. And now I have to draw runes on its head that will create an interaction between spirit and matter. Give me a few minutes, gather my tools and notes. I'm not mad. Okay. Well, you know, the refugees can fight off the monsters. I'm going to go and pilfer all this stone. And it would probably be prudent for me to build a home for myself. You know, the wooden shack worked out pretty well before. Build it right there. Nobody has to know. Ah, well, my friends are helping me out with that anyway. Oh yeah, the stone golem. I can tell you to do whatever I want. <laughs> shambling mess of a golem here. So it says I gain stamina even if I'm not at home, but it feels like I get a lot more stamina when I am at home. It was going up 2 per tick, whatever a tick is, now it's going up by 10. Hey Jake, glad to finally catch you on stream. Great fan of your content on YouTube so far, says L Freddy Lol. Especially by your amazingly well-spelt language and great use of English. Not that much appreciated sometimes, especially here in Spain. Ah, uh, Spaniards. Oh, I'm glad you enjoy it. Great use of English, though. Some people would debate that, some more heavily than others. A lot of things that my people build and I'm not sure in the significance. I guess the windmill produces flour, so grain, flour, maybe a bakery here or there. I'd like to spend more time building up cities, but things progress awfully fast. I'm just one person. But I really appreciate how the rest of my, uh, my little dudes actually do something. And they don't just stand around uselessly. Well, get an attack from the south though. Let's see how that works out. Golem. Go just stand there and do stuff. I suppose a wooden tower wouldn't go amiss around here. Uh, kind of feel like I'm building my ark after the rain has begun, but oh well. Somebody will go and build these for me. Go, Stone Golem! Alright, in come the rats. It's okay, I can take a scratch or two. Other people are here to fight for me. Uh, Golem. Kill them.
Do you feel like your character's actions have any impact at all? Mm. I suppose ordering the construction of materials is pretty impactful, but the fact that if I want to buy things, I need to spend my own money? I wonder about that sometimes. It's hard to really place in this game who I am. Am I Rita? Am I the whole village? What's what's my impact on anything? Also, I'm out of wood. I need some more. I wonder if my people have enough to build another stone golem for me. Oh no, you're meant to be building this tower. Well, the bulk of the army's on the way. I'd really like these towers. Also, if that barracks are up, or up and operational, I could be uh, spending my eight whole coins on another archer. Alright, get back a bit. Seems dangerous out there. <laughs> to actually see Jake playing a mobile game, says Franco. Freaking Franco. right now. But we have the wooden tower operational. You really should go home though. Oh dear. Bad day to be my chunky golem here. not too opposed to the golem dying since he didn't uh, we don't see any signs of things carrying over but he's taking a pounding there where are my beloved refugees to fight and die for me I know perhaps if I complete the second stone go nah the stone golem's just dying for us I know, go and mash some more trees so we can perhaps uh, fix a tower or two. Alright, well, down goes my golem into a pile of stones. And down goes my wooden tower into a pile of wood. Now my question is, how do I pilfer all that wood? Oh, I like that! Right, I have discovered the real strategy in this game. Let the enemies tear down the structures and steal everything. Destroy the barracks. Do it now! Oh, they're doing it too slowly. Maybe I could help them. I'm not sure my blow dart would do it. Aren't you supposed to be defending this place, Jake? My goal is to fight off all the monsters. My goal is not defend the sand pit. <laughs> defending is a broad term. <laughs> I'm gonna defend my bottom line. Gimme, 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 gimme! Oh, yes! I'm rich. Also, the zombies are killing everyone. <laughs> That's quite funny. I'm also almost out of blow darts. Probably should have thought about making some more of those. Oh, see, we've got some animal skins and some wood to pick up. Anything else to steal? I don't think so. Maybe somebody could make a workshop for me. 
Ooh, see, I could get myself a uh, stone axe or stone... Uh, ooh, stone lots of things, and I did steal a lot of stone. So let's make ourselves a stone axe. And uh, some stone armor. Which I question the effectiveness of. So how do I uh, get my own equipment sorted out? Inventory. There we go, we're wearing the stone armor. I can equip the stone axe, I guess. The golems are really surprising. They'll surely help us protect Aurora. I don't know about that. We'll need more than conventional weapons to defeat the iron giant that destroyed Don uh, destroyed Dawnguard. A metal colossus, you know, you can also build golems with other materials. Your story puzzles me. I'd like to observe this creature. Okay, or we just move on to the next one. I cannot even fathom the usability of stone armor, says wealthy Nigerian prince. Well, it's a struggle, but I'm sure it's been done before. I'll show you everything I know about metallurgy. With all this iron, we can build iron golems. I don't want to build more golems. I want to build a city and defend. But hey, I can still equip this. Great, no more blow darting for me. So this is interesting. I wonder if I just do nothing, will everybody else uh, kind of get to work for me? I suppose I wouldn't hurt to go and mining out some ore for myself. So it's one of those games that kind of plays itself. Jurshens is time to play Draken on a second window. Mm, don't tempt me. We played through Draken recently. It would be beating an old, uh, old dead horse. I should check out the tannery. Maybe I should, could make some, uh, some more useful armor. Fur shoes, fur coat. I mean, we are naked, aren't we? Oh yeah. The only thing we're wearing is this stone armor. Actually, this game might work out well for me, uh, living out my dreams of sponging off of society. Everybody else does the hard work, I'm just sitting back. Although, one thing I would like is my own home. So, somebody else go and build this home for me. I won't. Although I may have too much wood. I wonder if I could rest in somebody else's hut then. Hmm, no. Bakery oven, right? So I can bake bread and pies. Now we have access to the forge and the armory. You can make iron weapons and armors. Ooh. Yeah, no stone undergarments. Shaman altar, butchery. Oh, I can make some sausages. Does anyone know what for? Because I sure don't. Right. Stone helmet. Leather making workshop. For which I probably need leather but don't have. So that's what the tannery would surely be for. I'll go and make some leather and then see what we can make from it. How much skin do we have? I think I sold off a lot of my skin, didn't I? Oh, I've only got one piece. I need to go and kill the cow. Oh no, there's a boar carcass right here. Ready to be plucked of its skin. Now let's tan up that skin. Uh, isn't too bad. Isn't too bad at all. Wait, what happened to the leather place? There's a distillery popping up now. Damn, everybody's, uh, everybody's moving on too fast for me. There we go. Oh, I could cast iron. Heavens knows I've got plenty of raw iron. Ah, nice. Somebody did build my shack for me, so I should be getting my uh, 
my goods, and we can see the final wave time there. You know, this game does threaten us with a good time. Just wish it didn't look like ass. But, you know, looks aren't everything. They're just most things. Ironwork workshop. Or anvil. Ooh, can make myself a short sword or a battle axe or a pike. A mace. Oh. How can I say no to the mace? The answer is I cannot. Hope I'm not making a second mace here. Let's make sure that I've got that mace equipped. Oh my god, I'm dual wielding a stone axe and an iron mace. Alright, what can I make here? A cauldron, a fork, a two-handed saw, a chopper, a pickaxe. This isn't what I want. I want some metal armor. Shoemaker Armorer. There we go. Fool Helmet. Oh, a winged helmet? Light helmet that improves my speed? Sign me up, Buttercup. I'll be having that now. Chainmail, breastplate... Small shield. Let's have a proper breastplate then. Love to check out the distillery manufacturing alcohol. Alright, how are we looking now then? There we go. Oh, we should be pretty good with that. Apparently we're faster. Beer needs water and grain. Who would have thought? Did I? No, I've already put on my winged helmet. Not sure of a small sh Yeah, you know what? We'll make ourselves a small shield to go with our mace. Oh, you better not be destroying this thing. I'm using it. Unequip. Equip. Bad, but I don't have any shoes on. Wasn't there a shoemaking thing around here? Shoemaking workshop. I do need some kind of shoes. Chain leggings, then. Okay. Well, I feel pretty invincible now. Let's go and break some rocks. Stone cutting bonus, mining bonus. Hmm. This feels like the kind of game you could play all day. I mean, in these kind of games, after a while, you kind of stop looking at it. So it's not like I can always hold up how terrible it looks as a reason not to play it. Yeah, I'm almost certain we're still in the tutorial here. Wait, these are stones. Ah, well, stone is still good, but I should probably get some more iron after I club this boar to death. Oh, the controls are horrible. Uh, that's a that's a definite yes. <laughs> Banner Saga plebs waited a whole year, Jake. What's one more day? Well, I want to play Banner Saga as well. There we go. The hunting you learn from just clobbering a bear to death and ripping its skin from its body. Come a long way, though. Alright, we're chuffing knackered, so let's go to bed. 
in our house that somebody else built for us. Go get a horse, Jake. Now that's an idea. Oh, mm, a war horse. 20 grain and 6, uh, what looks like iron. Improves your health and movement speed. Ooh. Right, yeah, we gotta do that. Where am I gonna get 20 grain from, though? The grain field, of course, right, once we're all, uh... Once we're all rested up, let's go and ransack the grain field that somebody else built and tended to, and then go and get ourselves that horse. I've only got 30 seconds until the attack, though. Maybe I should just go and harvest the grain as soon as I can. Jinx, this grain's popping up all over the place. I guess other people are using their plant resources, and I am not. Come on, I need more grain than that. Where's the smelter? There, there's the foundry, right? So once I get my 20 grain, I'm gonna do that. Go, go, go. Cast that iron. What do you mean I don't have raw iron? Go get some raw iron. Smash it with your mace. The enemies are on their way. Oh dear. And they're coming in thick and fast. This reminds me of when I tried making an actually fun game in Excel. Worked out pretty well, says Freddy. Is that so? Alright, ten will do. Go, 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 go. Cast that iron. I want my war horse. Charge into battle. Show all these scrubs how it's done. Although it is a tower defense game, I imagine projectiles have an inherent advantage. But Jinx, look at the speed of these folks. I wonder if the my steed will compound with my winged helmet. Oh, somebody tore it down. Doesn't matter, I got what I needed. Warhorse me up. What are we fighting here? Orcs, goblins, Luna Elves. Luna Elf? Come on, come on, sprinkle a bit of grain, smash it with iron, and then you have your war horse. So that, that, ooh, gives a stamina bonus. Hmm, okay, well, it doesn't matter. I'm on my horse. Now let's go kill. I have run out of cast iron. That's okay. Oh, wait, no, that's not me. Where are we? Where are we? Here we are. Go mulch those ske- oh my god, this zooming is horrible! Just imagine if I was dual wielding. Which I reckon I could still do. Goodbye shield, hello stone axe. Have at. Oh. Flank them. This isn't costing me stamina to run around, is it? I don't think it is. Single zombie is a dead zombie. There we go. Hit and run tactics for days. Except we are pooped. Let's go home. I wonder, do I get my health back at home? The winged DDR arrived. <laughs> Protect the warehouse, he's gonna tear it down.
health restores awfully slowly. There must be a way to gain it back faster. Maybe I can eat my raw meat or something. Now that's give. Who am I giving it to? Where are my sausages? I'm certain I had some sausages on me. I don't know. Oh well, it's neither here nor there. We gotta ride out and fight once more. Again with the weird zooming. This controls so bad, this can't be how it's meant to control. Come on, clobber it. And then get out of there before I die. Ah, well, I can always rip apart this pig carcass that's just sitting here asking to be chewed at. <laughs> Bloody dead animals around your town! <laughs> it's the price of progress, you see. Well, you, you do see, but maybe you don't understand. I can plant rocks and trees and bushes and rabbits. I have to plant a cow. I'm sure, uh, sure Mord is watching somewhere. Sometimes, though, you gotta give and take away. Oh, I'm pulling milk from the cow. I thought I would kill it. It was certainly my intention to kill it. So does that mean I have it on me? Can I drink the milk? You can drink the milk or use it for cooking. I assume it restored stamina. Must be cooked to restore stamina. Well, how do I restore health? This is good, though. It means when I get knackered, I could use uh, this stuff to keep me going for longer rather than having to return home all the time. Interesting. So if I eat a fruit... Oh, they're not so smart now that we have iron weapons or this war equipment. We're ready to rip into them. We're going to kick their butts. Okay. But I want to know how much... Morale, uh, how much stamina this restores? One... Thirteen? I think that thing got in the way of me using it. Well, it matters not. On we plod. What is this disgusting looking game? The color palette is awful. You're right, Tandy. This game does look awful. However, it plays pretty well. Making me wonder if this was meant to be a punishment game of sorts. We're not going to waste our time. Fine. Da, 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 da. Slow down the dust cords or we might regret it. Mm -hmm. Build a wall. You know, I wonder, can I save this, quit this, and then... Because, I mean, this, this feels like it's going on and on. Maybe I could just play survival mode now instead. With our level 2 Rita. Starting resources? Nah. Start in the wood age, end at the... it ends? I guess it has to. Advancement speed? Yeah, sure. Time before the first wave? Give me, give me five minutes. Number of waves? Don't care. Time between waves? Let, let's have a bit of breathing room. It's my first... first go after all. Monsters in the first wave, additional monsters per wave. Power? Holy moly. Choose a map. Uh, just give it to me random. It's how I play. What's this? Kingdom options. Become a king? Uh, sure, why not? Let's see how this goes then. That's what I've come for. It's time for me. Okay, right. Timer is going. Again, how do I pause the game? Do I just have to do this? Can I... Oh, I can interact with things whilst paused. Interesting. I feel like the interface could be a bit larger. Okay. Well then. Trees are the way forward. Give me the trees. Oh, right. People are planting trees all over the place. Well then, go and get that. Can I plant some rocks? Can I plant some deers? 
Trees are fine. Ah, plant some deer. Alright, give me the trees, chop everything down. You know, I'm excited. I'm really rather excited at this. And it's not because I can build this up, but it's because I have all these other guys that are actually playing somewhat competently. Probably more competently than me. Go and mulch that deer. Beat it to death with your bare hands. And be very, very surprised that it's not fighting back. Rip its carcass to shreds, and then consider tanning down the line. Come on, we we got to get something set up here. Should build a barn to hide in for the first attack. <laughs> oh, man. Young, you're never going to live that down because you're never going to live. Now, I could help them build this town center, but they seem to be doing a fine enough job as it is. Oi, it's mine to kill. And to harvest. God damn, you pulled a lot of it away from me. I should really build my own house. But uh, that's going to eat into our chance of advancement. I have a lot of wood. It'd certainly help out a lot in the grand scheme of things if I help build up this town center. I wonder just how big the cities can get. Probably enormous. Alright, I'll help with the advancement. I'm not a monster here. And if I eat the berries that I picked up... Wait, I thought I put, picked up some fruits. Oh, whatever. I'll pick up some fruits while I'm at it. Now, can I eat them? Where the heck are my fruits? I must be going mad. Was I not picking up those berries? Maybe you eat them automatically. Maybe. Did you see my stamina go up when I picked them? I'll try picking up some mushrooms instead then. I don't see my stamina going up. I see my number of mushrooms going up. Where are they here though? There they are. Eat mushroom. Eat more mushroom. Oh, mushrooms seem to be regaining mana for me. Maybe that's what the, the berries did as well. No, it says eat to restore stamina. I don't understand. Where are they going? Well, my stamina's certainly going up. No doubts about that. Could make a skin teepee. But a wooden shack is so much better. I'm sure we're we're advancing fine as is. I'll build it later. More trees. One always needs trees. Oh, I'm also gonna need leather. Let's get that. Leather is useful no matter what. Cheers, Jake. Still doing Patreon games? What's this one about? It's about city building and... Uh, tower defensing. There we go. Get the trees going. Always need for more wood. She says, carrying 90... Uh, 90 bits of lumber around with her. Once we're in the Stone Age, though, oh man, those stones, they won't know what's coming. There's no stones in the map right now, is there? In fact, the map's pretty lacking, isn't it? Considerably so. I guess later age stuff only spawns once you're in said age. Oh, I have too much wood. What a problem. Well, I guess I can build something. But we already have a town centre, and we're about to advance on. Perhaps a wooden tower would help us, but I don't want to waste all my stuff like that. This is what I have people for. 
to waste away for me. What's this shamatic altar all about again? Ointment, mushroom soup? Restores mana. Sounds quite delicious. Let's have some mushrooms and make some soup. Yeah, there's no gambling today. Gambling is generally done only done in the weekly one-shot, which is on Sundays. Whoa, I had fewer mushrooms than I thought there. Oh, okay, well, we're, we're in the Stone Age at least, so... It seems prudent to put down some stones. Can you not upgrade the town center? Repair slash upgrade. I'll go and help them out, I guess. I don't have any planks. I guess we need something to make a plank, like the saw bed. Ooh! Wooden sword, wooden armor, wooden helmet. No, I'll help out on the planking front. Where's the enemy at, by the way? Ah, uh, they're a while away. I'm pretty sure we can beat them to death with our bare hands. I wonder if you can customize the game down to each and every individual villager. I mean, I'm leveling up Rita here. Would I be able to level up like 25 different people and have them as all of our allies? That would be badass. Also, I want a home. I want a proper wooden shack. Hey, where's my wooden shack at? Too exhausted. I really should have set up some kind of hut or shack for myself early on. I need to figure that one out better. Like, how do I restore my stamina properly? You'd think the fruits would do it, but every time I pick the fruits, it's not giving me what I want. Ain't that right, Bush? Oh, nice. My wooden shack is here. Go home. Go rest up. Cook the meat, Jake. Yes, cook the meat. At that meat cooking place I have. Hunting camp. Cooked meat. Alright, well, let's cook that meat. I think she is eating it automatically. Hold on. Right click for auto restoring. Interesting. Maybe that's how it works. Maybe we're automatically chewing these things down. Well, these berries and meats might just go a long way for us then. Do I have any cooked meat now? If I do, I sure don't see it, but that's not a given. Alright, stones are needed, so let's rock. Don't eat the rocks, though. Ooh, milk the cow! Do it now! At least my wooden shack's helping with that stamina, somewhat. Ooh, sheep to shear as well. Come on, we're going to be stuck in the Stone Age unless we advance the town center here. And I don't want to use all of my planks. God, this, <laughs> this music good, but it's so unfitting. Where's our enemies, anyway? Or did my friends just go out and beat them to death for me? Oh yeah, there's Evil Tree getting mulched on by a human with a sling. Let's go and cut that stone as well. We'll need that. Not going to bother with stone weapons when the Iron Age is so close. There we go. Let's actually help upgrade the poor center. 
much as I'd like to keep this stuff myself. The archery camp. Can make a bow, can make arrows. That seems a whole lot better than chucking things at the enemy. Dang, I'm out of stones here. Well, that's exactly why I plant stones. Ooh, medicinal plants. That could be useful. Could stop me just dying in combat this way. Don't mind me, folks. Let me just steal all your plants. Seems prudent to plant these mushrooms so that I can restore my mana as well. They keep pulling down structures that I want to use. I must know what I'm all about. Oh, these mushrooms grow fast. And yeah, it looks like I'm using those mushrooms automatically. Hmm. That could be a problem if I wanted to, say, make mushroom soup, and it's just gobbling these mushrooms down faster than I can put them to use. Now, where was that? Shamanic al altar? Mushroom soup? Make. I'll make all that, and then I'll make some ointment. What does address mean in this context? Oh man, it's the pulling things down as I'm trying to use them. Alright, well, let's rip these stones to shreds. Oh, but stones aren't what we need. We need a uh, bunch of lumber for the town centre. We'll get there, though. I'm sure my people are doing it for me. Loads of stones kicking around. Once I'm in the Iron Age, I'm going to iron up big time, and then I am going to go and destroy every last enemy there is. Probably jewel-wielding iron weapons on my horse again. Mm-mm. I'm getting excited just thinking about it. Come on, heavens knows we're always going to need wood, so I'm placing down a lot of trees here. And I'm drinking down that suit. There we go, Stone Age is now advancing into Metal Age. Better make sure I'm ready for it. Okay, I ate something that really rammed up my stamina there. So that seems like the early thing to focus on. Grab stamina and mana restoration items. I chugged down my uh, my mushroom soup to bring that mana back. I should check how much it restores. Uh, where's my soup set? Does it even show here? Oh, it's inventory. Ah, restores ten. Restores ten health. Fascinating. Right, let's make sure I have tons of wood and uh, planks as well. Friend of Hobbit says, Hi Jake, I'm wondering if you ever played the Thea games. I don't know what you mean by Thea games, so that doesn't bode well. Okay, I'm drinking this, that, and everything. I think I'll save up some stamina so I can plant some iron for my people. This is alright, we're relatively defended, the enemies aren't anywhere to be seen. I think my guys are just going out and trashing them before they can pose a threat to us. Guaranteeing here and now, however long we end up playing this here today, it's not going to be the last we see of this. This game shows a lot of promise. I think promise is kind of underselling it as well. I like what I see. Well, no, I don't like what I see, but I like what I play. Heavens knows we don't like what we see here, but that's not the point. More soup. Time to get a horse, Jake. We're going to need grain for that. Can I plant grain? The answer is yes. So let's plant a ton of grain over here. There we 
go. How long is this stuff going to take to, to sprout up? Come on, I need that grain and I need it now. Warhorse, a unicorn. I'll need crystals though. Oh, get harvesting that grain as I consider my horse options. A palfrey, golden age. Oh, ether age, right. Well, we're going to be in iron age, so iron, that's what we're going to be doing there. Might as well just gather all this uh, grain while I'm at it. Maybe I should have gotten some early tools. They would likely help me with stuff like stick, attack speed and range. Something must help with other things, like harvesting grain and such. What do we have here? Stone golem. Okay, well, whatever works. Yeah, if you didn't refresh, it's probably still saying that we're playing um, Dynasty Tactics, which we are definitely not doing. I never made all that leather that I need, and I definitely need it, so let's... Oh, I guess I did. A lot of workshop options. I wonder if my my uh, townsfolk never pull down things that I build. That would make sense to me. But it's not a given. I gained rapidity. I see. I've got a lot of raw stone here. I should really actually get stone cutting, if anything. The enemy attacks are a bit pathetic. Maybe I turned things down a bit too much. But I didn't really have much of uh, an idea for that. I'm chiseling all this stone's tiring. Tiring stuff. Right, I'm a little low on mushroom soup. Let's make sure we have plenty of it. So we're going to be slamming down those, um... Well, I can make more. I can make some ointment. Can't think of much other use to those uh, medical herbs right now. Shoe-making workshop. Never did make myself a nice pair of shoes. Oh, it gives you extra speed and stamina. Interesting. Right, we're in the Iron Age now. The time has come. Let's lay down these uh, iron ores. are ready to go. Well, uh, oh, we'll get to work on that. Leather making workshop. Belt of fortitude. Endurance. Belt of agility. Increases rapidity. Well, that sounds useful, but I need uh, iron for it. Backpack. Quantity. Ooh, that sounds very good. I'll have myself a backpack. I keep going. Ooh, I can't carry any more of item. Studded leather gloves. Just a health bonus. So are we wearing it now? We are wearing that backpack. Excellent. Shoemaker, salvage, da 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 da. Command deposits. The dusk hordes are approaching. From the south, apparently, but I don't see. Oh, there they are. Oh, man, there. They're barely growing in size, whilst we grow enormously. Oh, and I'm not chipping away at that iron. Everybody else is, though. I need this iron, and I need a place to smelt it. Butchery, eh? Make steak and sausage. Restores stamina. Restores lots of stamina. Ah, good. Somebody's making a foundry for me. Alright, the wolf is here. And the cow is dying. Oh, poor cow. 
I can see myself needing a lot of this uh, iron ore, so I don't mind chipping away at it, but I'm a pretty low on stamina, and stamina restoring items. Maybe I should kill this boar so that I can have some food to eat. Good, I've got some help in destroying it. Lot of the carcass, turn the meat into delicious meat. I should have plenty of wood on me as well, yeah, 108 of them. So I'll go to the uh, butchery workshop and make myself a whole lot of steaks and stuff. Alright, go, 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 steak o'clock. Should keep me good for a while. There we go, see, chomping it down straight away to bring my stamina back. And I'm going to make all of them, just so I have plenty of stamina restoration on me. Not even cooking it. Yeah, I guess we're pretty Germanic here, aren't we? Mm, bakery oven, that could be useful. Alright, foundry, I need all the cast iron I can get, because it's time to finally... Uh everything up. I'm gonna get myself a horse and I'm gonna get myself the tools of the trade. What else should I plant? Maybe a bit more iron ore. Maybe a bit more grain. Skirmish mode apparently adds enemy camps to battle on uh, the map instead of waves. Oh that sounds so good. You know what game didn't have skirmish? Stronghold 3. Ah, jinx, you tore down what I was using. Well, it doesn't matter so much. Let's get my war horse. Improves your health and movement speed. Yes. I just moved the foundry over there. I guess this is an, an encouragement for you to build your own things. So the AIs will make and tear down stuff, but if you put it down, it's there forever. So that's a pretty good way to have the AIs be um, functional. And yet, you have the last say in how your uh, your town looks. I like it a lot. Oh, we might as well use the foundry whilst I'm next to it, though. The raw iron's not going to be much good for me here. And I want some chain leggings. Got to get that speed and health bonus. Workshops get worn down with use. Ah, so maybe they're not uh, not being dismantled. They're just dying. Alright, what else? What else? What else? I don't want a stone armor. Didn't I want some studded leather gloves? Hey, that sounds cool. And maybe my own belt of fortitude? I don't know what endurance is, though. Ah, I like the sound of this rapidity. Let's get the belt of agility. Oh yeah, see the, the bar of that went down. Eh? Anything else that I can use and abuse? What will the chapel do? Resurrect dead people. Not what I'm looking for. Loom. Bandana. Stamina bonus. Simple headgear. But I want less simple headgear. Might need some fabric though. Let's make fabrics for a while. We need some kind of forge. I don't want to be the one to build it, but... Uh... Oh, but I can just tell everybody else to build it, can't I? Alright, we need an anvil. Ah, oh, crap, I'm building it, haven't I? That's strange. Why did it go here? I thought I could choose its position. Right, um... I see no reason not to go in with a mace and a battle axe. Jewel wielding. Excellent, and they're already being wielded there. Oh, this is pretty fantastic. A straw hat, a bit of straw hat. Resistance to fire, madness. Let's go and slam down some more ore while we're at it. Okay, what else does my character really need on them? Some proper headgear and proper armor. Do we not have an armorer of sorts? I guess not. Where was the armorer? Iron workshop, 
Bull hooks, rolling pins, yeah, no thanks. Armorer workshop. Well, I guess I had to plank, so there's no harm in me building it. But I'm using it. I want my breastplate, please. And I want my winged helmet if I still have enough iron, which I may or may not. Probably not, I'm using, it, using most of it in this breastplate. Yeah, there we go. So, we just go and founder some more. Oh, the golem's taking good care of those zombies. Surely a spear if you're on a horse. Oh, heavens no. With the height advantage you have on a horse, of course you want to smash down on somebody with a mace. Alright, back to getting our winged helmet. This should keep us good for an age or two. Okay, anything else for me to care about? I don't have a one of these, these are these, so I need some kind of ring maker or charm maker or something like that. It seems like we're very well defended in the south with the, uh, the river here, so I think I should most certainly be building defensive structures like... Uh... Ah, it's weird the way it sets us up, puts it on your character. But I can't build it there, I can build it here though. Maybe that tree is in the way. In any case, take down the tree. Does this axe of mine then help me with wood cutting or something? Wood cutting bonus, 12%. Look at me go. Can I put you here now? No, but why? Maybe if I tell the stone golem to go over there. Or even better up there. Then I can build you here. Except I don't want to work on this. Although it's made of stone, isn't it? There you go. How am I doing on the stones? I probably have plenty myself. But I shouldn't be building all this stuff. This is scrub work. Where's wall though? We had ah, here we go, stone wall. Well, mush my people, produce goodies for me. I wonder if I can go to the workshop and steal stuff. Maybe I just deposit stuff for other people. Yeah, interesting. So if I have a lot of crap and I want other people to have it, maybe I can do it like that. Like, take all this fabric. I can just give it all, right? Oh, I give it to specific people. Right. Crown. Oh, God. Some kind of electric bear. Or are we the ones giving out the electric attacks? I don't know. Either way, deposit all the fabrics, see if other people can use that. Deposit all my crummy stones, let other people use, like, all of this stuff. Ooh. There we go. Now we'll check on this later on. I put in uh, 57 and 20, so we'll see if other u others use it or not. Anyway, I give orders, and I attack. Simple as... Nice and safe. That's right, as we all know, horses excel at fighting in water, so we just run across the river. It's because they're so tall, you see. Come on, zombie scum. Got your number. Although every time you attack me, you're using up one of my, uh, my health things. Let's disable auto health restoration.
I'm learning riding, shoes, gloves, and heavy armor. I started out at level 100, though, so these level ups feel a bit uh, inconsequential. Ah, this game gives a lot of good feelings. It's not just my own progression, but knowing that all of the people in my town are also progressing, and I don't need to baby them into it, right? They'll grow their own trees and cut them down and turn it into proper planks and all that. It's really good. Like, a really good feeling. Okay, I'm quite confident that my health will regenerate on its own, as long as I stay out of combat right now. So I shall do exactly that. We will turn... Hey, those towers I set up are looking good. How do I get water? Surely there's some kind of water workshop. Sewing, foundry, anvil, iron, marketplace. Oh, I should establish a marketplace so that I can make gold and buy mercs. Hey, how about that? Right, well, let's go back to our warehouse then. Nobody has taken the goods, so I just assume that uh, it's only for me. I'll take my fabric back. And I need to go and find some sheep to, uh... Aha! Uh -huh. Well, there's one right there. I wonder if I can shave it faster using my, uh... My axe. Mm, I guess not. A water workshop? A well? Mm, well, I sure don't see any wells. It's not to say it's not there, like here, for example. But that doesn't change the fact that I didn't see it. Oh, it's up there. Sweet. Right, let's go and booze up. It's nice to move at a reasonable rate now. Ah, oh, great. The towers I ordered are almost complete. I will want more along the bottom here, but we'll get there. All right, it's there. Now let's booze up. What does beer even do? Restores stamina. Lots of stamina. And a temporary bonus in strength. Yes. Okay, our stamina should be unstoppable now. Although I've forgotten what I was intending on doing. Ah, that's right, I wanted to get some looming done. Fabric to build a market to uh, get some silver in order to recruit some actual soldiers. Because these attacks grow every time they arrive. Where did they come from? The west, I think it said. These controls are arse. I need to look in the workshop to find if there's any... Like, what's it even zooming in on here? Not the character. That's for sure. Right. Uh, now that I have this, let us build ourselves a marketplace. Right next to the chapel. pretty good at this. I should be using my, stat uh, my magic to build... Oh, we're in the Aether Age. Interesting. I wonder if I could put that to use some way somehow. We don't even know what's there yet. Alright, marketplace. I need to sell stuff, but I don't really know what. Buy my mushrooms, will you? Exhausting an affair, though, this is. Buy my leather as well. Oh, I don't have any leather. Oh, buy my milk, then. No milk? Buy what's left of my loom stuff, then? That takes longer, and it's more exhausting to sell this stuff, but... Whoa, actually, uh, that fabric's good money. What else do I have way too much of? Wood, but the trade rate's awful. 
Oh, instead I should look towards a barracks. Should be a defensive structure, right? Garrison barracks. Conscription and pet training. But that's Stone Age stuff. We'd have anything better at this point. Ice wall, crystal golem, siege workshop with military engine. Now you know what barracks it is. Again, next to the chapel, of course. I don't have any pla I don't care if you don't have any planks. Okay, I guess you care if you have planks. Get sawing then. Feeling pretty clever about erecting those stone towers where I did. They keep this entire area relatively safe. Alright, no, not siege workshop. Barracks. On your trot. You have a blood altar in the northeast. A pyrotechnic altar. Allows you to create fire spells. Aha. Uh -huh. Temporary weapon disappears after use. I hate temporary. Sheep, give me your wool. It sells for good money. These other schmucks can build the barracks for me. Me, I need to focus on what's important. Me. Thank you, sh Oh god, the sheep just disappears. It's more than a little tragic. Uh, what's also tragic is that my people aren't uh, getting horses of their own. Just imagine how much better they could be acting if they did. Right, that workshop died a death. We need another one. Loom. Ah, but I need planks. Used all my planks in the barracks. Won't somebody help me with the barracks? Oh, where'd the sawmill go? That died as well. Jenks is a lot of uh, a lot of having to rebuild things that you you use here. All right, get planks, get looming, get barracking. Get the money, get the soldiers. Have the soldiers line up and destroy everything that arrives. I don't know who's casting the electricity, but they're doing a good job of it. Alright, Loom. Bring me the fabrics. Did they just electrocute a cat? I believe it's a fox. Actually, some things don't seem all that temporary, right? These towers, as long as they don't get destroyed, seem pretty... Whoa, whoa, don't run towards it. Run and make me those planks. How much uh, loom stuff do we have? Quite a lot, 18. That sounds like money to me. Jings, the dosh you make off of these are insane. Right, that tells me that I want more sheep. Sheep are good. Sheep are money. Sadly, I don't get any meat out of the sheep. Anyway, microtransactions could be shoehorned into this. Oh, definitely, but it doesn't look like they are. In fact, I think this game was really cheap as well. Crystal ores. Right, I need to investigate how crystals work. The best way is to start out by grabbing some, probably. Smashing. Oh, right, to upgrade the town centre we need crystals. Perhaps I should help out the place by uh, throwing some down myself. Alright, got rid of our fabrics. I'll help build up the barracks a bit more. But I'm going to need to cut some more stones soon. Yeah, I'm almost out of the stuff.
It's a bit scary if this game is available on mobile. I'd be worried about playing too much of it. The place is getting really dark here. I mean, no doubt about it, we are fighting some baby hordes here. I think I set their increase in power way too low. But that makes sense. First time giving it a go. I won't be dark young on the matter. <laughs> really, we should be the ones attacking the enemies. I think it's the elves. They seem like magical creatures. Pretty good at taking out things from afar. Oh, jings. Shame we can't eat the enemies. Oh, guess. Guzzling down the beer to keep my stamina in check here. Alright, great. Barracks, talk to me. I can have a healer. Magic and light resistance. Yeah, what the hell? I'll have myself a healer. And a pyromage? Fire magic. Goblins on the case. Where's my healer with their light magic? I feel like I didn't quite conscript the healer. No, maybe I did. No, maybe... I, I don't know. I'm not seeing them if I did. Definitely not seeing them. Recruit Soldier, Healer. So if I have a Healer and a Pyro Mage, we'll see how well we go attacking. I wouldn't mind another Heavy Horseman, though. How much wheat have I... Oh, I'll recruit two Heavy Horsemen while I'm at it. Provided I have the coin, and I rather think I have the coin. No, right, they're trying to take down my barracks, and I won't be having that. Come now, let's fight. Well, that didn't even seem fair. Is our healer going to heal? Is that what the healer even does? I'm not seeing a lot of healing coming out of this healer. This, this zooming is just... It is just... <laughs> Alright. Problem, if, if it can even be described as such, is that I'm not a projectile user. I, I rush in and I slaughter. And now I've got my... Pyromage, you guys going to attack? Yes, let's charge into the water here. <laughs> Whatever works. I hope the soldiers' kills count as my kills, right? I can scripted them. Okay, so these zombies, which previously were causing me a bit of uh, a bit of difficulty, are now getting mown down by me and my heavy horsemen. Are we actually even attacking here? I don't feel like we are, but we need to pull back a bit. We were, or at least one of us was getting a bit mulched there. So how best to sort these guys out? I could have them stand here to defend and then deselect them and go and go about things my own way. Hopefully the healer will heal up the damaged heavy horsemen. We're advancing into the next age, though. I should really set that to take longer. I want to. Want to enjoy the ages more?
feel like rocks are something I lack a lot of. There we go. They are healing heavy horsemen, but ah, uh, well, are they even? I wish I could click on them to see more stats about them. Can I get a confirm or deny? Did, is this game actually a mobile game? I think I asked that before, but I sure didn't see an answer. God, if they are healing, they're doing a terrible job of it. It ain't Jake, thanks for that. Now we know. industrious city here. I don't know how you can get more villagers though. I guess you just have to set the amount that you start with. <laughs> Sorry sheep, you need to die. There was something where I could make um, more mundane looking items though. Hmm? Redemption altar? Scroll of celery? Use a scroll to temporarily increase your speed. Again, disappears after a while. I'm not interested in temporary measures like that. I might be interested in a better home, though. Demolish my home, take the wood, and see if I can build anything better. Like a magic house. Dang. Special home for mages. Well, I'm no mage, but I wouldn't mind my own special house. Especially if other people were to build it for me. But, you know, I'll put in a bit of the uh, sweat off me own brow here. Mana regen is slow, I'll give you that. But you can get it a lot faster if you uh, make some mushroom soup. So beer for stamina, mushroom soup for mana. And I'm sure there's a more efficient way than just using mushrooms for mana. But the House of Magic should surely bring my mana back in no time. That's what it said it did. I am not convinced that the healer is actually healing. This guy's been sitting at that level of health forever. Oh, milk the cow. I don't like the implications of the swallowing sound as we milk the cow. That'll do for milk. Another Luna Elf, but it just cannot seem to stand up to our attacks. Oh, but there are a few more of them now. Oh no, my heavy uh, heavy horsemen are going down. Wait, that heavy horseman didn't have that much health before. What's going on? Well, he doesn't have any health now. He's dead. Very cool. Jake seems to enjoy it. The chat has a less rosy opinion. Yeah, I think uh, anybody who can see beyond the deviant art level of art can see an impressive game here. Right, is there anything we still need on us? Uh, we're still pretty good with uh, Iron Age stuff, but we're entering the next stage at this rate. Uh-oh, last heavy horseman's going down. Not sure the healer's really helping it. Pyromage, if you could please help them out a little bit before they die. Alright, you two get back uh, here and then don't move a muscle. These stone towers are still doing a fairly bang up job, but maybe I should have more of them. For goodness, are they expensive? Oh, they're expensive in a lot of things. Ice wall. It's just a wall though, isn't it? An ice tower on the other hand. I gotta see how that can perform. Keep us safe, icy tower. Have you over there as a forward defense. And I'll keep uh, you over here to defend it, but don't move from there. 
Oh, that's going to cost a lot. Thankfully, I'm not the only one that works here. Hmm, my gemology is going up. Is this a 2006 Flash game? It feels a lot like it, but uh, I don't think anything from 2006 offered up the... Uh, I don't want to say the depth or the complexity, because maybe it's going to run out any second now. But I like what I see here. I don't think I would long play this one, but I think I'd wildcard this one. Come on, any crystals for a cunning... Hold on. What does crowning do? Designates you as the queen. Great. What do I get for that? Servant? Servants collect resources and store them in the town center. Oh, why I have to pay for them, I do not know, but that's neither here nor there. Let's uh, sell whatever I can in order to make that. Sell the milk, why not? Got plenty of that. No, I've still got... Uh, I don't have fabric. It'd be nice if it showed me what I do have. Fabric just seems such a good, uh, good deal. It doesn't take long to make. It's not hard to make. It's easy to produce the sheep for it, and it sells one for four. And I'm getting leveled up in belts. Jake Tastes can definitely be his own. And is in keeping with the channel F. If you don't see the charm in this game, I don't know what to tell you. Hmm, that iron golem, he's fairly taking a beating, which is just as well. This is great, though. I mean, I can see all of my villagers. They just started out fighting with their own claws and fists. And now... Oh, and now... You ever play Civ 6? I guess, for like a few minutes, and I went, no, I don't even like Civ. What am I doing? Female servant? Any different from servant? Well, we'll have both. Maybe they'll breed. The idea that I have people going around collecting resources for me sounds great. It'll save me a lot of time and stamina. Still a disappointing lack of my own people using horses, though. Their servant, now get to work. Where is my servant, though? see them. I don't think they come down as soldier, do they? Maybe they do, because it just went up to four. Oh, I can see you there. There's one of my servants. Where's the other servant? Well, if they put it in here for me, all is well, but... Uh... Get to work, guys. Maybe maybe the idea is just to leave them alone for a while, but then how do you know... How do you know when you have anything to collect? Right, so that, that ice tower needs to be finished off so that this area is very well protected. Then we just need to worry about, you know... Well, no, the thing is, this area is all protected by water. This is the only place that they can just flood in from. And we shouldn't worry about that too much. Not with this ice tower on its way. Right, you, you run away to the warehouse every time I try to check it out. That's not right. Fairly sure this is 60 FPS, says Brelix. You say that, but under the options... Frame rate goes 12, 24, or 30. Is there any option to speed up the game, though? Beta, beta. Character quality is at 100. Oh my god, what's it like at 25%?
Forgive me for not seeing a difference. Jake, you must restart the... Yeah, it said if there's an asterisk that you must restart. But I'm not seeing that on any of these things. Although maybe this is just something for everything. Hmm, could be. Well, it's neither here nor there, but to think... This is 100% quality on the ground. Ah well, I don't think this was made to be a game that looks good. But it plays pretty great. Oh, the graphics itself has one. Well, how about that? God damn, we're too exhausted. That means I'm out of things to chew down. That ointment won't help me out. Maybe I can just drink some milk straight from a cow. Where are they at? Somebody plonk down a cow for us. I mean, I can plonk down some cows. They are expensive buggers, though. Oh no! The orc's going for my loom! Oh, there's my cow! Drink it. Drink it now! <laughs> this just isn't right. I wonder if I could turn that milk into something more delicious. Like a cake. A lot of stamina. No, the real stamina was to, um, to get some beer. Which was grain and water. The well's dead, though. Was there another well erected? Yeah, there was. One right there. Okay, let's get some beer. Where's the where's the distillery? Here's the distillery. Ooh, I could make some absinthe instead. Ah, oh, it's only 21 uh, stamina. Beer is 38. Some people have made some grain for us, so I shall have that grain, but I shall also replace it. This game would be cool in multiplayer. I wonder if it has multiplayer, because that would be insanely good. Plant lots of grain. It has all oh my days. So who's up for some uh, multiplayer of this then? Limited to land? Nothing's ever truly limited to land. Oh no, I destroyed it with my excessive beer production. Oh, I want to see if my servants have been actually producing items for me. They've gotten wood, medical things, and fruits, and mushrooms, and some leather. Some leather? I must have put that in myself. Raw gold. I take it all. Surely I could smelt that into something at some sort of foundry, if you will. I'd probably get in on a big MP game of this as fan of gaming. Yeah, now we're talking. In a not too distant future, I'm going to put up a wild card of this. We'll set some. Uh... You know what? Let's do it next week. Next week, I'll put up a a wild card. Six hours of this. Maybe do two or three uh, maps of it. See how that works out. Right now, we got the jewelry workshop. I want to give that a go. I could make the cheetah men. Yes! Lights, camera, action 52. Ring of vitality. Ah, stamina's good. Life, eh, less good. Mana bonus, yes please. Oh no, mana regeneration's always needed around here. And protection, defense bonus, nah. Stamina. Jinx, how would you efficiently play this in multiplayer? You'd have to have people that are actually focused on, is that a weaponsmith? Gun. Gun blade. Shoulder cannon. 
A heavy two-handed firearm made from cast iron. Oh. Mm -mm. Two-handed fight. Well, I'm having a rifle first. A shoulder cannon. <laughs> Achievement unlocked. Rifleman. Yeah, sure. Uh, enhance. Oh, we, we can't do it, can we? Oh, I can sell and recycle things. Interesting. In any case, equip it. Does it just work, or do I need bullets for it? What if I try to kill something? Any enemies to try it out on? Cartridges used with fire at right. So I'm guessing that I do need cartridges. Which means I need gunpowder, right? That looks like gunpowder, but how do I get it? What makes gunpowder? Well, the shoemaker probably doesn't. Just going out on a limb on that one. Paper mill, jewelry, arsenal, laborat laboratory? Seeing it there, it's got to be something that makes. Uh... Hold on, maybe I have to plant the gunpowder resource. Yeah, sulfur ore. There we go, which means maybe somebody had. Oh, there we go. No, that's raw gold. Come to me, sulfur. Man, people are not seeing the long term here. Oh well, let's go and eat some berries first. Look, I like bad games, okay? This is no bad game. It looks bad. But if you're getting filtered by that, then that reflects poorly on you, not the game. I mean, all this... Oh, Chinks, we still haven't built this ice tower. My people need to get to bloody work. I like to think that Jake's ruling over an evil town and all the races of the world are sending wave after wave of armies at him. Well, I mean, this is a very poorly defended city, but they still can't handle us. Oh, on comes the Reapers and evil wizards. Oh, dang, they move too fast for my towers. Maybe I should have built that wall. Hey, there we go. Ice Tower is operational. Alright, they come through here, our units should be able to mulch them pretty well, but I should consider building a wall here. I haven't built a wall, so let's try that, shall we? I mean, come on, a palisade should be fine. How do I build this then? I think I have to drag you over here. Uh, that's not what I was looking for. Uh, wait, what? Oh, I see now. I see, I see, I see. Interesting. Well, that one bit of palisade will surely save the day. I want my ammunition. Oh god, my sulfur! Other people are going to mine it if I don't get to it first. Like that cow. Is the water just for show? No, water slows down enemies. It's very good defensively. Our whole city here is in a great defensive location. If only it kind of grew out towards where the water edge is. Somebody else wants to erect an ice tower there. 
Does that mean that I can destroy these things? Like, how would I remove a structure? Let's say they built a tower somewhere that I really don't want it. How would I get rid of it? Also, where's my kit? There we are. Mm, not seeing an option to do so. Oh well, I guess that's neither here nor there. Give me my bullets. <laughs> Seep says, so where are your defences? Do you see that pole over there? We make them chase us around it. Well, doesn't have to be a long-term solution. It's all we have. No, we have more of an elastic defence here. They get through the water and they're pretty much immediately on the town centre. Do I have my bullets now? I think I do, but probably not a lot of them. Uh, here we go, 30 cartridges. So I should probably get some more raw iron. Which iron felt like it took forever to get early on now, but compared to anything else, it seems pretty slick. But I imagine as I level up Rita, she'll get a lot better at doing these kinds of things. I want to have a look at her stats later on. Actually, I can look at them now. Yeah, here are all the skills, and here's them leveling up. Let's look at something she's actually leveled up a bit on, like belts. Adds bonuses to items. Okay, cool. What about building? Increases the manufacturing speed of everything. Cool. What about... Something where you get... Okay, increases the quantity of resources. That sounds useful. So imagine if you really pimp up one character, you can be very good at specialized things. Maybe there's something that stops buildings crumbling when you use them. No pickaxe crafting? I definitely could. I could probably go in dual wielding pickaxes to mine faster. I wonder if they work just by holding onto them. That would be useful. But I mean, this mace of mine probably isn't helping me with stone cutting until I uh, actually have it equipped. Hold on, what was those M's there? 2M and 3M? Oh, that's the bonus from drinking uh, my beer and eating my steak. Fascinating. Alright, I still want a few more bullets though. gold age. I'm quite confident we are uh, we're the woman for the job, right? Clad in iron armor with our armored war horse running into battle with a rifle. <laughs> Although I can't help but feel that my AI villagers are a bit better equipped for this situation than me. Okay, the elf is going in to smash them with her bare hands. I don't know what she's doing. She needs our help, is what she's doing. Go, Rita. Smite the zombies. Oh man, the mummy's got to go. I wonder if the cannonball would be a bit better for this. I'm not liking the lack of area of effect. Right, you know what? I need help from you two. You guys follow me. I've been neglecting something very important, and that's my meat shields. There are a lot of them on the map. Where are they? Oh, okay, they're coming in from the east. Right, I've got the gun. Now I want uh, some more money. I'll sell whatever I have. Heavens knows what I have. Got a lot of inconsequential things. Will they buy my... Oh, they will buy my useless magic things. Hopefully hiring people doesn't cost magic. 
And I should check on that. A knight? No, I want these uh, pyro mages. They seem to know what they're all about. What else can I uselessly sell off? Take my grains. Just sell off everything I've got that uh, can reasonably be... Ooh, hey! Metals sell pretty well. And there's tons of it around here. What else do I have? Ooh, my gold bars sell for uh, big money. Who needs gold when I can buy silver with gold? Jake, your golem, or whatever it is, doesn't seem to be smashing things. If somebody else built that golem. It can be as useless as it wants to be. I'm convinced they're just there to tank damage for me. Right, how much do these guys cost? 45 pops. So 45, 90, 180. Wait, we're exhausted? What about all that beer that I didn't make? Unacceptable. Go and rest up at home for a bit. This crappy wooden tower. <laughs> well, that's okay, because I have my AIs who are pretty beefed up for this. But then again, there's a lot of skellies on the way. Skellies, zombies, mummies. And this is not a well-defended part of my map. Despite the water here, I should have pushed out further with... Um, with wooden towers there. But I did not. This is pathetic. Is there not something I could go and... I know. I'll pop down some cows so that I can drink them later. Oh, no, no, no. I should have... Pop down the grain. Go and get a lot of uh, water from the well. And then I'll get some more beer. From the distillery that got destroyed. Distillery, huh? Yeah, we're going to need a new one. Build workshop... Um, blah, 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 distillery? Where are you at now? Needs metal that I sold. Well, mistakes were made, I guess. Well, at the very least, I can keep selling my gold. also the option to make more iron, but man, there's a lot of things to be done. There we go. 206. That'll allow me to hire a couple of pyro... No, I can hire four pyro mages. And then we go in and... Oh boy. This is the original music. It's very ill-fitting, but I quite like it. Also, are we seriously constructing a golem made of gold? Golden Golem. Lots of health, high attack, attack speed is slow. Golemology, physical crushing. Ultimate mobile golem which can punch enemies. You don't say. JWJ says, I was going to say this background music is terrible. I wouldn't say terrible, I'd say ill fitting. Jake Duplan are doing another endless Death Road to Canada run. Nope. Death Road to Canada is the game I return to every now and then, but overall, right? I mean, what is there left to do? We beat Kepa mode, the hardest thing in the game that's still reasonably a thing to do in it. So I don't I do not see much um, much to return there for. I've seen almost every event in the game outside of some ultra rare stuff, and there's not really a lot being added to the game now. Gets updates here and there, but nothing nothing substantial. Which is fine, doesn't need to be substantial. Okay. Assemble everybody. Except for me, I'm gonna harvest this grain and uh No, I need beer. I need some bloomin' beer. Where's the smelter? Don't tell me that died as well. Oh here we go. A scythe, for example. Two-handed tool for harvesting, so. Attack bonus, attack speed, harvesting bonus is huge. That's good, but my smelter is non-existent now. Unless it's evading me, which is possible, but I'm not seeing that. Hmm. Oh, there's the foundry. Right, I need some metal so I can build a distillery so I can have some beer. And 
that's plenty. Workshop, uh, distillery. Oh, it, I just thunk it down where I am. I guess defensive structures are the only ones you really um, put down in set places. And where's my water? Don't tell me you drink water as well. You can drink it or use it for cooking, but why would I drink it? We are drinking it. Oh man, and there goes the well. Well, there you go. No planks. Well, maybe the maybe the warehouse has some planks for me. Or maybe you're just going and building that for me. Maybe there's water in here. I didn't consider that, did I? Maybe my, oh, my slaves got me all the water I could ever need. How about grain? Brilliant. I'm taking it all. Anything else? Yeah, I'll, I'll just take all your... Just take the whole damn lot, right? What's stopping me? What indeed is stopping me? Dang, they took a lot of raw iron, didn't they? I'll take a bunch of that. Uh, right. Distillery. I want beer till the end of days. I know the distillery's in the bottom left. I just built it. Alright, we are in the Steam Age, which I believe is the final age. Oh man, we got so much beer, it makes your toes curl. And these enemies that come to attack us, plentiful though they are, are about to get bamboozled. Where are they all coming from? The next wave's in like five minutes, okay. In that case, I will make as much valuable stuff as I can, sell it, and, uh... I wonder how much beer sells for. I'm not seeing it as something that can be sold. Which is mad, but that's how it is. Right, any raw gold floating about? Sulfur, huh? How much does sulfur sell for? Three each. That's pretty good. Those magical crystal things also sell for three, so does raw gold. But honestly, why don't I just pick up stuff that I have loads of in the warehouse and sell that for big money? Have you taken a look at the other things that can be brewed? Yeah, but beer's the one that interests me right now. I suppose I can take a bigger look. Restore your stamina and gain a temporary bonus in willpower. Eh. Yeah. Purified water? Restore your stamina and gain a temporary bonus to defense. Yeah, but it doesn't restore as much stamina as beer. Beer's where it's at. Alright. So the slaves have been hard at work getting us resources, and those resources are going to directly translate over to uh, money for me. Let me. Just take everything. Where's the take all button? That's what I could really do with here. Take all of everything. That would be good. Even the leather, even the mushrooms, but I can't take any more of this because we're stacked. Right, over the market we go. Let's just sell everything we can. We got tons of berries. We'll sell those off first. It's really fast to sell things that you uh, that you sell like that. Sell some medicinal herbs instead now. Tons of that stuff. No real use for it. Sell the leather. Wait, I can sell water? No wonder it's uh, such a poor rate. I feel like there'll be a lot of uh, nice interface additions. Like seeing how much of everything I have here. That's another two pyromages right there. Wouldn't mind a third. Drinking my beer just so that I can sell things at market better. What a world we live in. Alright, sell the uh, sulfur as well. I, I do have sulfur. There we go.
180. There we go. Let's four of these guys. Once we have them, oh boy, we're going on a rampage. We came to get down. Yeah, when did this game come out and when are we seeing a sequel? Because I would like more of this with a better interface. Hey, that Ice Tower is doing a good job. Ah, I see, right, it slows them down with those I it's just like the winter melons from Plants vs. Zombies. It just came out of early access, didn't it? 2016 according to Google. Well, I think Google counts early access as a release, and I do not. And in my eyes, I know better than Google on this. Charisma up, conscription up, come on my pyro mages, there's a lot to burn down, and they're arriving at a minute 40. The controls are still ass, but I'm getting a little more used to them. Okay, it came out of early access just over a year ago, okay. I'm all out of silver coins for this, so... Do I just grab my units and tell them to assemble? What a strange way of lining up. I wish they'd get a bit closer. I want them to go there and not move. The village can fend for itself now. I've done my part. I've got loads of ointment for if I get damaged, so let's set that to auto-restore if need be. Okay, right. Stone Golem. Uh, wait, what? Stone Golems, I don't care about you guys. You just go and do whatever the hell you want. Defensive if you must. Same with you, Stone Golem. Just get out of here. I don't care about you guys either. I'm not interested in Golems. I'm interested in meat shields. Meat being the operative word here. Many of you may die. But that is a sacrifice I was born willing to make. Useless freaking healer, what are they even doing? Again, I bet I'm not getting the kills for that, am I? The game thinks I've barely done anything. The game is wrong. I've done everything. Alright, and let's start that everything by going and meeting our friends in battle. What are we go what are we looking at here? Some kind of wolf rider, a wolf, a werewolf, elves, wizard, gobos, black knights, ogres. Have at. Can I not rotate the way that we uh, line up here? It's just is asking for trouble. Uh, guys, it's it's right here. Oh, okay. Well, that'll do. Come one, come all, it's time for you to die. Oh, I might not do as much damage as I'm hoping it does. Well, he's, he's the big shot, right? It makes sense that he takes a fair few to go down. Unlike your evil wizardry friend. Let's just attack everybody. Alright, it's good. We did them down a bit. But try to stay this side of the water, will you? Seem resistant to magic, but a little less resistant to bullet. Uh oh. Battle bear probably means business. Da! <laughs> ha 
Come on then, Black Knight. You underestimate the amount of ointment I have in reserve. Alright, take down the big bastard. World safe. Please wait. No, the world is not safe. Not for me and my battle pyrotechnics. Well, Chings. Imagine how this would be if you hit the 200 unit limit with fire wizards. I'm imagining. Don't you worry about that. So I can't imagine... Oh my god, this zooming is horrible. I want to zoom in here. And it goes, oh, you mean here? I go, no. No, I don't. Alright, we'll see if their numbers help them here. Uh, not sure about that. Chings, and this is with a modest 10 out of 200 soldiers, of which three of mine are still back at base. I think that light attack had a homing essence to it, didn't it? I think I saw it arc around when one of its targets got destroyed. Right, well I'm going to be quite grateful that I still have a battle axe and a mace on me, because I'm about to run out of bullet here. Well, you know what, let's charge. Go, go, go. It's nice that it doesn't appear that having a pretty hefty inventory gets in the way of your killing prowess. Okay, well, with what little I pieced together, we were able to mulch those guys. I feel pretty good about that. I don't feel pretty good about waiting out the next seven attack waves when we're clearly far stronger than anything the game has to offer. So I think this seems like a good point to call it there, especially since we've been going way over time. We will be back with more of this because this game, despite looking like ass and having abhorrently bad writing, plays really well. We need to learn a bit more about this multiplayer that it has. Oh, there's Play Online, so it does have the capabilities. So I will see about organizing some kind of multiplayer of this next week and also uh, maybe playing a bit more offline because I'd hate to be outdone by other people at this rate. So, um, right, at this rate we're never going to get any Banner Saga 3. It will happen tonight, so I'm going to take a wee bit, going to have something that resembles dinner, and I will be back in about, I don't know, 40 minutes and we'll get the long play off the ground. So cheers for joining for this. Big thanks to uh, Twink Fox Asher if I'm getting that right. <laughs> they moaned about me not having their name in the games at all and then I go and call the MC here, Rita. What you gonna do? In any case, they brought this game to the channel and it looks like it's here to stick around for a bit. So until we're back with the long play and more of this, it's a cheers and a cheerio.